VP Finance for uh, Nature, which is the environment uh, department for the NOM. And I will be uh, presented with uh, Richard uh, the measurements we are doing in order to, to, to know a little bit more about our footprint, environmental footprint, specifically carbon. So basically, uh, uh, the way we decided to go is really not easy. Uh, we will uh, see a little bit further, but uh, at least the uh, decision to work on nature was easy. It was easy basically because it is a clear mandate coming from our mission, from our group's mission, which is to bring health through food to as many people as possible around the world. So uh, as you can see, uh, healthy food comes from a healthy nature, so in order to uh, be, be, be sure to comply with this mission in the long term, we have to take care of nature. I won't spend much time on this slide because it is basically the same story that has been uh, best shown in, uh, in the film, and it, uh, it simply shows the different milestones that uh, Danone has had in the, in the past uh, in terms of environmental uh, commitments. So, as of today, um, we have uh, in, uh, in our organization uh, Miriam Cohen Bellring, which uh, you can see on the uh, right hand side of the, of the screen. Uh, she is our general manager for the environmental department and uh, our uh, COMEX uh, sponsor, uh, at, uh, sponsor at the um, uh, executive committee uh, member, uh, who is Pierre André Terry, who is, Pierre -André Terris, who is the uh, CFO of the group. Uh, so, as you can see, because of the, of the choice of uh, of our um, uh, sponsor at COMEX level, you can see that we have a clear, uh, uh, a clear will to uh, start and measure uh, and, and, and uh, certify uh, the measures that, uh, that we are doing, to take it really seriously. So um, we have the pillars that uh, we have seen in the, in, uh, in the film. And uh, now we will focus specifically on climate in order to understand how we are doing our measurements and reporting. Uh, in terms of uh, the, uh, CO2, uh, the CO2 uh, uh, issue, we decided to uh, attack it through uh, four different steps. The first one, in order to understand what we are talking about, is to measure, and that is the one we are going to discuss today. Uh, we have uh, afterwards to put uh, in place the plans in order to reduce and the necessary innovations that uh, will come uh, through this reduction. Uh, then we decided to, uh, to compensate, um, and we will be starting with uh, the first brand to uh, be compensating its emission, which is Evian, as uh, from the end of uh, this year. Uh, and then to communicate, which is, which is key also for our plans. Um, just a very, uh, very uh, short introduction to what is the split of our emissions. Uh, you can see in this chart that we have uh, the four different divisions of our group. Uh, first, we have the water, uh, water uh, business, uh, then the dairy, then the uh, baby food, which uh, big emissions that come from, uh, from milk, from the raw material in general, and then the medical, uh, the medical division. And in the end, you will see uh, the overall emissions uh, that are measured here in terms of carbon intensity. That means uh, grams of CO2 per kilogram of product sold. Uh, we have decided to monitor our emissions in this way. So our end game is to integrate uh, the CO2 emissions uh, as part of our overall business, as any other consideration we have to take into account in the business, as is return on investments or uh, market shares or whatever else. So uh, in, order to, in order to do this, uh, we have, uh, we have a, few, a few comments to make. Uh, first of all, we decided to uh, set a very ambitious target 
that, uh, to be very honest, at the very beginning, we, we, we put this target. We had no idea how we were going to achieve it or whether we, it would be able to achieve it. But uh, now it is, it is almost done. It will be done by the end of next year. Uh, because we decided to go for a target, for an intensity target of minus 30% on a five-year period uh, ending in 2012. Um, then we put in place the necessary organizations and processes to do this. So one VP finance in order to ensure that the measure is well done and in order to take care of all the different uh, financial uh, um, uh, implications of, of this process. That's me. Uh, then uh, 110 carbon masters. Carbon masters are people that take, um, that take the, the issue of uh, measuring uh, the CO2 emissions with our internal tool that is called Unprint today. And uh, we have named one carbon master per uh, CBU, country business unit. So we have them all around the world. And to introduce the uh, CO2 indicator in all the key um, processes, decision-making processes in the company. That is, when we want to make an investment, to take into account in CapEx, uh, to take into account in uh, innovations uh, through eco-conception, for instance, and so on. Then uh, we're putting in place the tools in order to make this possible. So uh, first of all, done print, as you can see, and uh, then introducing the uh, measurements done on done print, which is a, a, an Excel-based tool that we have developed, to put all these norms in uh, SAP. Uh, it is something we will be talking further. Um, and uh, governance because it is in the bonus today, the, re the reduction that, uh, that is targeted for each of the country's business unit is already integrated in the bonuses of uh, more than 1,400 Danoners all around the world. And external reporting, uh, because last year, it was the first year we reported our reduction uh, within the same uh, press release that we announced our results at the end of the year. So when we started this long journey of uh, reducing CO2, we had, we had to choose. We had to choose between two different ways of doing it. Uh, this, I'm sure you know as well as I do. So what happened? I don't know what happened. Ah, well, no, yes, no. Okay. okay. Oh, there we are. Just so, sorry for that. So, um, so we had at that time, um, a few years ago, three years ago, uh, we uh, we had GAG protocol, which was. I'm coming from finance. Sorry, I'm taking some shortcuts here in terms of the of the names of the things. But for me, it was kind of taking the general ledger of a company and seeing the actual, uh, let's say, consumptions of materials, for instance. So it was the total amount of fuel, the total amount of coal, the total amount of gas, etc., etc. And that is just taken into account scope one and two, which was what, was, uh, what existed at the moment. And past 2050 on the other side, which was not based maybe on actual consumptions, but it was a good idea of uh, the total emissions all along the, uh, the life cycle of a product. Uh, we decided that we would go for the past 2050 at that time because uh, what we wanted to understand is the processes, and this was mentioned in one of the presentations before, and I, and I thank you for that, because it, it was exactly what we were looking for. Uh, we we uh, decided to go the most difficult way because we wanted to understand which were the processes that were generating our emissions so that we could actually act on this and put in plan, uh, to, to put in place reduction plans that could enable us to achieve our goals. So uh, we did something which, I don't know if we were the only ones in the world to do this, but basically what we did is, by doing all the uh, past 2050s, all the life cycle analysis of all of our products, in the end, if we, make, if we 
if we sum up all that, we will attain a calculation which gives the total amount of emissions for the Group Danone, but on the total life cycle of all of our products. That is ambitious. Uh, so at, uh, at the very beginning, we decided to uh, approximate this calculation with them print, uh, which is what uh, we're doing until last year. Um, so basically, we take product families with different samples of products that are very representative of the different of these different families of products, and uh, we measure these samples, and then we extrapolate for the total volumes of the different family products. And then we make an addition of all the companies all around the world, all the calculations of the 110 carbon masters that you have seen before, and we get a total amount of emissions for Danone that are estimated today at uh, 14 uh, million tons on the overall uh, uh, life cycle of the products. Uh, what we are trying to do now, what, what we are doing now, and we are going live in many country business units, is to stop making these uh, approximations and extrapolations and to actually have the 100% the of our SKUs, uh, total products, measured according to past 2050 and to actually have, uh, have the, the total sum of all these products around the world. And this is what I will leave you with uh, Richard so that he will explain to you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Richard Catalouin, IT Director at Danone, working with Laura. Uh, sorry. Uh, as uh, Laura said, uh, they decided for the more uh, complex and uh, challenging uh, approach, and then they turned to the IT. And the question was uh, how to do it, because uh, Excel is nice, very flexible, uh, very uh, uh, user-friendly, uh, and so on. But the question is how to manage for uh, more than uh, 30,000 uh, uh, SKUs, uh, for uh, more than 100 uh, companies uh, within the group, uh, with uh, accurate and more and more accurate uh, data and so on. Uh, question is, uh, is tough. Uh, they wanted uh, not only uh, some tool which is reliable, but also something which is integrated uh, to populate uh, data as much as possible automatically from uh, uh, dif different sources. To have some things that can be uh, audited, of course, because uh, as we publish externally, we need to, to audit and uh, to, uh, to have some uh, reporting and facilities to, 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 to manage uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, topic. So the question was, was there. We decided to go with SAP because we are SAP uh, uh, ERP uh, equipped. Uh, it is our uh, ERP as many companies. So we decided to go to SAP and we co-innovate with SAP. Uh, again, the uh, decision was to, uh, to, to, to rely on the uh, life cycle analysis of the product. So this was modelized already within the Excel sheet, so we knew uh, most of the, the, the different uh, topics. It was uh, very uh, clarified, the different uh, steps, phases of the life cycle. Uh, we had a good understanding. We have already accumulated data, but it was painful to, uh, to uh, uh, upload and to maintain it with, within Excel. And uh, you can imagine that it was only a sampling approach within Excel. With SAP uh, solution, we were able to, uh, expecting to collect data automatically and to have uh, uh, an exhaustive approach. So we modelized uh, this uh, DanPrint tool within an SAP tool, and uh, we, uh, we went to the result. Basically, if I want to make it quite simple, uh, the solution uh, we built with SAP is composed of two modules, uh, two sub-modules, because it's one solution. Uh, first one module, sub-module, is composed of the emission factor. All emission factors are gathered in tables within this uh, module. And the second uh, module is a calculation. In between, of course, we are sourcing lots of information from the ERP, because uh, all, our process, all our processes are managed within the uh, ERP. So uh, if, you uh, if you have the combination of the emission factors with the 
uh, real volumes and all the different steps of the cycle, you can calculate your carbon footprint per SKU. And this is what we are doing uh, currently. So this has been done in 2010, and now in 2011, we are in the rollout phase uh, all over our uh, subsidiaries. With this tool, we are able to uh, calculate the footprint and to, to provide to the business some uh, dashboards. We are able uh, to uh, aggregate in different uh, dimensions, uh, either the SKU's brand or uh, sub-brand, uh, per site or per uh, CBU or per uh, divisions. We are also, uh, um, it's a monthly analysis, eh? as the ERP, so it's uh, exactly the same uh, cycle. So it's not a one-year calculation, but every month. Once we have uh, closed uh, the financial uh, calculation, we move to the uh, carbon calculation, and so it's a, it's a monthly analysis, exactly the same cycle as the financial. Where do we stand today? We, at the end of this year, will have uh, more than 50% of the turnover of the companies that will be covered with this tool. All our CBUs are not yet SAP, but it's a program we are uh, uh, running currently. It means that uh, the, 20, the 40 uh, more important country business units will be covered by end of next year. Half will be at the end of this year. And no, uh, not only we are running uh, the rollout, but uh, we are uh, already working to extend to some uh, more advanced reporting, to some uh, simulation capabilities, because getting the actuals is one thing, but uh, the, the, the ultimate objective is to, uh, to enable the business to uh, simulate, to calculate, and to uh, address the more uh, exciting action plans. And then, next step we are uh, uh, working on for 2012 is to enlarge this solution to the water footprint. Thank you.